What is going on guys? My name is Matt Alive. Welcome to another video. In this video is a tutorial video showing you how to live stream on YouTube Gaming and what settings you should use to order to stream on YouTube Gaming. This is mostly the easiest steps to do on YouTube Gaming and you'll be able to do it right away. Just to let you know, to stream on YouTube Gaming, you must need a three megabytes per second internet connection to order to stream. If you don't have that uh, bandwidth speed, you pretty much can't stream at all. Just to let you know, you need fiber connection, not broadband connection. So now to a program you should be able to download is called Open Broadcast Software on, you, on the internet. Just search it up on Google, just search up OBS and you should be able to find it right here. It is a free program you should be able to use on on YouTube gaming. So it's like XSplit, but, but free, and you can't go wrong with this. So we're just gonna go back to YouTube gaming and see what we go for there. After you download it, you should be able to open up a program on your desktop. So your program you get will look like this. It will have nothing at all, just pretty much nothing in this. Now there's simple settings you need to do to order to stream. Now you go to settings and go to settings. Go to e-coding first before you start doing anything. Your default will be X264. Now you will only get this option only if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card. But since I have a NVIDIA graphics card, I picked this one so the games don't lag while I stream. But if you have an AMD um, graphics card, you won't be able to have this option or the quick sync option. So you'll just get a simple eCoder X264. But if you have NVIDIA, make sure to check this because your games won't lag as much if you choose the NVIDIA encoder. The max bit rate should be between uh, two, two, um, 2,500 to 5,000. This is uh, how many megabytes per second it uses. So to average to get like 720p gaming, you should be able to do um, 2,500 to 3,000, um, which is 720p at the moment and you pretty much click apply and it will be saved as that. So after that, you go to your YouTube channel right here and click on go live right here. After when you see the go live right here button right here, there should be able to, uh, you should be able to see some couple settings. You need to only copy two things to put in open broadcaster software which is the ecoder setup. Now to look up what your ecoder is, you click on the reveal right here. Now, just to let you know, I'm gonna reset my ecoder as soon as I show this. So this encoder won't work, so don't try to stream, just to let you know. You copy that encoder name, stream name key, go to um, broadcast settings. You should be able to see these two links right here. You go to custom right here. Do not go on YouTube, go on custom. After that, you click on, you copy your stream key and paste it right here. After that, you should be put your server URL over here and just paste it right over here. And just click on apply and okay. Now, to order to get your audio working, you must change some couple settings on here. Sometimes when you have multiple microphones, such as your webcam or your original headset or Blue Yeti or whatever, sometimes uh, Open Broadcaster software can actually pick the wrong microphone for you. So just pick the normal one, which is my microphone USB device audio device right here. So you click on apply and okay. And then you're done for now. Now, oh, also, I forgot to show you one thing. Click on video. Now, this is actually something you should do. 
Now, it depends on your CPU usage. My CPU can't handle 1080p gaming. So I put it as um, 720p. This is the 720p resolution. You should test this out before you do 1080p. Go to custom, um, test out 720p before you do 1080p. Now, if you wanna change the uh, FBS of the stream, you can since YouTube's new streaming service can go up to 60 frames per second. So just increase this to 60 frames per second and you're done. Now after when you're done, you should be able to see um, what you should be able to do on YouTube Gaming. Now if you go on PC, um, you should be able to create some multiple things. So let's say I want to create a new scene. You click on new, and I'm just going to make this my games. Now I'm going to make a new window capture. This is how you capture a game from a window, which is inside a window. So you click on that and type in a game's name or just type in whatever you want. I'm going to name this game one. Now, just to let you know, it will give you multiple, um, it will give you multiple, uh, what, what's it called? It gives you multiple windows to choose from, such as Skype and a anything else. Um, so let's say I'm going to pick a game. This is a game right here. My life, my life dashboard on YouTube. Whatever. Let's put it put it as that. Click OK, and you should be able to get it. Now to view it, you click on Preview Stream. Now the stream may be a little bit too big for you, so what you're gonna do is actually right click on the window and click on Precision and Size and Fit to Screen. This is what it will look like. Now, if you want to edit the scene, you click on Edit Scene, click on a bit, click on the uh, window, and you should be able to drag it. And let's say I want to add a webcam on here. So I'm going to add a webcam, and a webcam is going to be easier to put on. Right click and click on Add Video Capture Device. Now, I'm going to name this. Um, sorry, I have to move around because I don't want you guys to see my face right now. Webcam. I'm just going to paste that right here. Now, you go to your webcam device right here and click on it and click on OK. Now, your webcam will be a little bit bigger than it was. Like I said, just click on Edit Scene and drag what you want your webcam to be. I'm going to hide my, web, my face from webcam for now because... I have a bad face right now. And you can actually edit this around. You can actually put in some overlays on the stream. So after when you're done um, doing some stuff for your games and your window or your webcam, you, you click on stop preview and you click on start streaming. I hope this video really helps you out. This is the gaming.youtube.com's tutorial of open broadcaster software. So please comment, rate, subscribe. Gonna be bitchin'.